Good morning and welcome everybody to my channel. My name is Jakub Vanish and today we're going to be discussing full self-driving uh, in EU, in Europe. So buckle up, let's get right into things. So what you're seeing right now are actual clips of FSD being driven in three countries, in Italy, France and Germany. Uh, Tesla is starting to push. Uh, it all started basically in Czech Republic where like a hacked cyber truck was used in Prague, in my hometown. And, you know, it was kind of working flawlessly, even though the Cybertruck actually thought it's in the US, so it didn't have all the necessary features, but it still really, uh, you know, drove these tiny alleys and, and streets uh, really well. And based on that, I think uh, Tesla started to make a move. You can see here it's going really well into the intersection, weighted uh, the oncoming traffic. Here, another one, I think it's from south of France or Italy, you know, really sunny weather. But, you know, these tiny streets are very normal in Europe. And look at this, it's backing into the into the hill backwards, you know, going downhill a little bit, letting the oncoming traffic to pass by and then going straight into it again. So, you know, it's almost sentient for something that is never, you know, really tested in EU and they are just starting, you know, it really proves that even in these tiny, you know, corners and in this uh, cumbersome, you know, intersections that we have here, it can do really well. Like here again, it lets the BMW drive. It, it behaves just like a human. It almost feels sentient in this way. So this is this is quite incredible. And honestly, I hope that the things will go fast because so now you can book a ride uh, through Tesla in anywhere uh, in, in these three in these three countries in Germany, Italy and France. And there will be, you know, a Tesla representative at the wheel, but they will not touch the wheel and you can go anywhere in that city. And I think uh, they are uh, basically trying to pass some special tests in Netherlands. So in Netherlands, actually, this should be the first country that should allow FSD in Europe as of February. And then all of the EU members, all of the countries can actually... Did you see this roundabout, by the way? <laughs> That's crazy. Like, uh, Europe is full of these roundabouts. Um, so Europe then can, uh, you know, ask for permission based on that permission in Netherlands. So I hope Czech Republic, you know, by the way, this one, this one is incredible. Look at this. It just, you know, again, tiny corners, oncoming traffic. So it stops right there. It goes a little bit towards the right uh, and does it really, really perfectly. And then goes and there is a big truck in the middle of the way while there is a pedestrian on the left. So it, of course, evaluates both of these things and goes very, very slowly, realizes that it can go now. There is another oncoming traffic, so it needs to go really to the right to make space for this on oncoming traffic from the other side. You know, <laughs> I saw a comment, you know, from somebody in Germany who's a taxi driver and he was saying, hey, I'm, I've been driving for 40 years and I wouldn't have done it better than this. Um, like, this gives so much confidence to everybody, right? Because... Uh, just look at this, you know, there's uh, people on the scooters and on the bikes everywhere in Europe and really quite a lot of traffic, tiny spaces, tiny roads. Everybody was saying that the US was made for FSD, these, uh, you know, wide open roads and just, you know, 90 degrees corners everywhere. And here we have these roundabouts and basically cities that were built sometimes even 1000 years ago, right? So, it's it's not really built for these large cars, but uh, you can see that it can handle it just fine, even with the tiny amount of training that has been done on European roads. So it will only get better. And what is even more interesting is that that uh, us in Europe we will go from quite stupid um, autopilot uh, that unfortunately is almost barely usable these days, to be honest, to FSD point uh, FSD fourteen point two which is the best, right? So we will not see any of the iterations before. We'll go straight to the best thing there is. And I hope that, uh, you know, Tesla will do just right pricing that will be maybe 100 euros or something like that. Uh, though Elon Musk has a conflict now with the European Union who fined him, I think, $140 million. And, you know, if you look at X, uh, he's now posting stuff like abolish EU. So, you know, because of that, I can see some potential retaliation. And on, I really hope that that doesn't mean that they will uh, try to forbid FSD um, or prolong it, uh, you know, the, the whole um, the whole ordeal behind it. So I really hope that next year 
actually in quarter one or latest quarter two we can get to to drive it almost everywhere in europe and i would definitely sign up because my commute is like two to four hours every day so this would be great value for me if it's like 100 euros i would not hesitate a minute and i would definitely go for it and then you can expect quite a lot of videos from me on this topic because this totally looks like prague you know like uh, you know trams and bikes and scooters like if if it can handle this this is some german city i believe then it can handle anything right so yeah this is super super exciting time i really hope that it will go fast and we'll get to experience it very soon and then you know it's not too far from um from fsd unsupervised where you can actually sit in the back and maybe be on your computer um, and actually bring a lot of value into your life. So let me know what you think about it in the comments. Are you as excited as I am? Uh, do you believe that this is going into the right re direction? Otherwise, I wish you an amazing day and yeah, see you in another video later. Bye-bye.